Tom, before the break, we were talking about your investing strategy, how you've got energy. You talked about why you don't hold Exxon. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago that Engine One, a very radical, the opposite of JSG in so many ways, right. activist investor decided they wanted to reshape ExxonMobil. And they had the help of index funds, yes. mainly BlackRock, uh, using the ownership of the American people who put their money in index funds and they replaced three directors. And yes. you, you described them. Tell a little about how that process happened. Well, I, you know, it, it was almost uh, uh, the battle was fought before the first shot was fired. Right, because they knew if they lined up the votes, like anything else we see in politics, that you can just steamroll something through. And uh, in this case, they did. As you mentioned, they had BlackRock, I believe they had Vanguard, they got uh, the, the support of a couple other institutions, and they, and they created a story around why they needed these additional directors. Of course, that was to advance ESG, but also to, to speed the company on a uh, energy tran transition, as they've kind of tied to. Now, you know, for us, I, I won't get too much into the hows and whys that happened. I, I wish Exxon uh, good luck. I, I, that is a great company, great American story. Right, I we think all that, and they haven't, they haven't lost energy. their way. I think yeah. they, they can do better. Uh, you know, but the management opposed, I think the Exxon management opposed those three directors and they were forced on them by outside investors. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, the, part of the shame of this is that we are fighting against ourselves. And you know what Exxon, what you'd like to see Exxon do, and so I was a, a commission, I was appointed by President Trump as a commissioner on the Arctic Research Commission, the U.S. Arctic Research Commission, and I represented uh, oil and gas interests among others there. Alaska is something that people hardly ever talk about today. But Alaska is key to how we got out of the last recession. If you remember, the first oil flowed off the North Slope in 1976 after the cartel OPEC took, took control of things. By 82, we went from first oil to three million barrels a day, wow. if you can imagine, out of Alaska. That investment of building TAPS, the Trans-Alaska uh, Trans Pipeline System, was $8 billion in today's. Now, Russia, who we're experiencing, we're, we're seeing their energy leverage play out, and it's hurting the U.S. because we have to go help our European allies, which is important. Now, Russia announced in 2020 they're going to spend $300 billion developing oil and gas in the Arctic. Meanwhile, we're shut down That's up crazy. there. I was and, actually in Alaska this summer. I took my summer vacation with family there. And I can tell you the, the horror stories, if we build the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, it's going to ruin Alaska forever. I was all over that state. I'll tell you, it's not ruined. It's a beautiful no, there, state. There are many ways, and there's better technology out today. We can do it cleanly, safe. If you can't do it in Alaska, you can't do it anywhere. With American know-how and technology, ExxonMobil needs to be a national champion that they were back in the day when they, when they brought that first oil out. So um, that's, that's, you know, we, any company can be a JSG leader. We view that, and everybody can bring up their game, and that's part of what we hope to do in the future. You know, just, just as ISS goes around and has consultative processes with investing with management teams to try and improve their ESG scores, which translates into better, you know, compensation, we're not coming at it from that direction. We want to see the, the companies raise their level of business. And the more money you have, the more influence you have. I know that from being in the, working for Templeton. When I would call people and say, I represent Templeton, they went out of their way because they knew that we were a big player. You need to be a big player because you represent our values. Yes, yes.